Hello and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Today, I want to bring you some super, super exciting news. If you have been a Cricut crafter at all and particularly enjoy the print and cut feature, with your Cricut, whether that is the Maker series machines or Explore series machines, you may have at one point in time said, I really hate the size restrictions that Print and Cut has. Traditionally, Print and Cut can only be printed up to 6.75 by 9.25 inches. And I'm here today to tell you that is changing. This is super, super exciting. Now, I am currently running a beta version of Design Space, which means it is a version of Design Space that is being tested out. And once they get some kinks and bugs out of it, then they will release it to the public. You also can run a beta version of Design Space if you want to. But on the beta version of Design Space, we can print on media up to a three size, which is 16.5 by 11.7 .7, or 11.7 .7 by 16.5 rather. That is super, super exciting. Let's take a look over in Design Space and look at what the changes are going to look like in Design Space, how we can change the media type, what uh, the restrictions are for each d individual media size, um, and we're gonna see how well it works. Okay, over in Design Space, like I mentioned, I am running the beta version 7.27.142. If you are not running a beta version and would like to do that, it's really easy to do. You come over to the hamburger menu and you're going to go to settings. And then you can see right here, the application experience. Mine is set to beta. And if you have never changed yours, yours would be set to live. So I have two images here. Both of these are print and cut, so they are ready already uh, for print and cut sizes. But you can see here that I have these little exclamations because um, this one is huge. It's six by 17, uh, roughly, and this one is 28 by 20 and some change. Um, so if we hover over or click on the exclamation point, you can see it says image is too large. Um, and the default media setting for design space is a letter size. So eight and a half by 11. This particular image, you can see now, it would let me cut it 3.38 by 9.94. So that is already an improvement here in design space. Traditionally, it would only have let me cut it up to 9.75 inches. Now, another cool feature that they have added is you can auto resize the image. So I know a lot of times in design space when we're like, oh, it needs to be a little bit smaller than we're like, you know, just making it smaller like this, or we just come up here and type it but if you click this right here it says auto resize image then it automatically sizes it down to that 9.94 inch height that it is going to allow now let's go ahead and delete this one and we'll talk about this one today I am going to be printing on the a3 size paper and so let's go ahead and change our paper sizing our media sizing right here so what you're going to do is press change paper size and it gives us several options for media. You can see under here, the print and cut page size, like I said, is default to the letter size, but if you click this down arrow, there are other options. So we have the A4, letter, legal, tabloid, and A3. So all the way up to 11.7 by 16.5. So let's go ahead and select that. We'll press done. And then when we do that, you can click on this and see that it will let us print this up to 14.76 by 10.47 inches. So quite a bit larger than 6.75 by 9.25. So let's go ahead and press auto resize image. And then I also want to bring that ice cream cone back in so that we can see how big it would let us print and cut it with this A3 size paper as well. So hovering over here with the A3 size paper selected, it will let us do it up to 15.4 inches tall. That is quite a good size print and cut. So before we move forward, I do wanna point out, yes, we can print that big. We can print and cut that large now here in Design Space, but the problem 
is probably going to be finding material that you actually want to print and cut with. So yes, we can find sublimation paper or regular copy paper in order to print and cut that large. But if you're wanting to do stickers or a heat um, transfer product like a print and cut uh, HGV iron on on a shirt or something like that, Right now, it's not easy to find materials that are larger than just the regular letter size. I'm sure that, I'm sure you can find it. I'm sure that they will become available since this is an improvement, but they're not as readily available as the letter size. So still be excited. This is still very exciting. Um, and we are again, still going to be doing this just on regular copy paper. Um, uh, but now we can jump back over. I just wanted to mention that, uh, for any of those who are thinking the same thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and delete our ice cream cone. We're just going to be doing this image today. We'll click make it just like normal for print and get images. And I do want to point out the registration marks look different. This is how I knew that there was an update here in design space. I did some print and cut images, a uh, couple days ago, actually some Valentine cards and noticed that the registration marks are just printed on the corners here. It looks um, here on this image like it's all the way around, but when this prints out, it's just going to be on these corners, which is different. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with print and cut, you'll notice that as well. But let's go ahead and press continue. We are going to load our A3 paper into our printer and print this out. Just like always, make sure that you are increasing your quality of your print to best. And if you are using the rear feeding tray, make sure that you select that. If you need pointers on having absolutely perfect print and cut products, we do have a video for that. Check that video out after this, but let's go ahead and select rear tray and get this image printed out. I am absolutely giddy. Look how huge this is. This is just, this is just absolutely super exciting. I hope you all are as excited as I am. I did print this out um, with my sublimation printer because I don't have a regular printer here in the studio that prints this large. I haven't needed it uh, up until now. So if you have an amazing uh, printer that you like that prints large, um, media like this, let us know. In fact, we may, we do love our sublimation printer. It's the, um, Epson 7840. And we may just get another one and not convert yet, but use it for regular printing. Now that we're going to need a larger format printer, I'm going to bray this on here and I am using a 24 inch mat because this paper is 16 and a half inches. So you can't use your regular 12 by 12 mat. This mat is not not that new. So I might take a little bit of tape and tape down so that this doesn't move on me. Um, and then I'm just going to put it in my Cricut and let it cut out. All right, let's take this off and look at it. Look at this. Oh, it looks so good. I don't know if you can tell or not. There is a little bit of white right here. That just means that our machine needs to be calibrated a little bit. Um, if you have never calibrated your machine and you also have like a little bit of white or something like that, when you do your print and cut, you do need to calibrate your machine. And we have a video on how to do that. It's very easy and just makes everything look top notch, but I am super, super excited about this and hope you are too. So what do you all think? Are you super excited? If you have found any materials, any print and cut stickers or printable vinyl, printable HTV that has larger media options, larger size options, please let us know. Leave a comment below or send us an email. Hello at oakandlam.com. We want to test it out. We want to test it out for you all. We love to test out products here for you all. All. Um, and also I want to invite you all to click the link below. If you like this content, if you love seeing products tested, if you love knowing firsthand really quickly when updates like this are available, or if you love crafting in general, the vlog is a great place for you to be. Click the link below and click the join now for annual membership. If you do that, then you can enter the code be mine, B E M I N E, which is a fun little offer 
offer that we want to give you all for Valentine's Day, and it is $35 off the annual membership. So if you need something for Valentine's Day and your significant other doesn't know what to give, give you, maybe just push this their way. Anyway, with membership here at Oak and Lamb, you get access to our entire library of cut files with free commercial use license. You get access to our free or included courses with a membership access to our private Facebook group, which is where our amazing community, The Flock, is hosted. We love each other there, we support each other there, and we craft and live life and have fun together there. So join now. And also, if it is not in your budget to join The Flock right now, go ahead and just hit subscribe here to the YouTube channel. It is free to do that. And if you turn on notifications, you can get notified every single time we go live. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope, again, I've said it hundred times. I hope you are as out of your mind excited as we are. Thank you for watching. I'll see you here another day for another video.